what Biden wants to do. They know what the administration wants to do. The question is whether or not they're going to get the funding for everything they want. Also, I think the market was a bit disappointed with the $1.9 trillion. I think it actually expected more, and then the horse trading would begin up on Capitol Hill. The, the question is, again, whether or not the Republicans will go along with Biden, how much will they demand it to be brought down uh, from $1.9 trillion. That's going to be the question for the market. Obviously, the market wants more. Uh, Janet Yellen said this is not a time to, you know, to be uh, stingy about a, a package that, that the economy demands more. So again, I think this is something that the market is concerned about, and we're going to have to see how much actually Biden can get. That said, I think individuals are going to be treated well. I think families will be treated well. I think the, debt, the Republicans may go along with that. And that's why I think the consumer discretionary sector is going to get a, a bid because the consumers will have more cash in their pockets. Republicans are saying, you know what, we don't need this. The economy is actually turning the corner. Yeah, on that consumer discretionary point in the $1.9 trillion he unveiled Biden, there was $1,400 top up to the stimulus checks and also a more federal supplement to unemployment benefits lasting through to September. How much of an impact do you think that is going to have on the consumer discretionary stocks, given that Biden was talking about people making a choice between paying rent and putting food on the table? I think it's going to help if it is um, coupled with success on, on uh, rolling out the vaccines. That's very important because, uh, you know, people are just sitting home. They're not going out. They're being very, very careful. They're worried about their jobs. They're worried about unemployment insurance. But if they see a successful roll, rolling out of the vaccines, if we get Johnson & Johnson coming into the mix and it becomes more normalized throughout the country, I think consumers are going to start to feel a bit more optimistic.